all right so nobody told me that fire brigade of flames since out sunday and i don't think the creator of soul eater is gonna bring us a chapter of fire brigade every sunday because it's 46 pages i think chapter zero is just an introduction while chapter one is setting up the manga so shinra he loses consciousness while trying to while going to that factory with all the fire and we get a flashback of him and him seeing somebody actually burn his mother and his little brother died as well so i'm predicting that that person that did that for whatever reason he will fight them in the future we also learned well i learned that he can only utilize fire from his feet which is really interesting. I don't know if it's only for now from his feet or later on he will develop fire from his hands as well or what. So I'm expecting a final showdown between him, Shinra versus that dude. I'm expecting later on um, actual villains that utilize our third generation as well. And they just do evil for whatever reason for money political gain or whatever and they just do evil and shinra and the fire brigade gotta stop them i like the fire brigade's combination then we got an explanation that the reason these people turn into fire is because of a sun god or something making them like that for some reason which yeah i i don't i don't buy it. i think um my prediction is there was <laughs> this is cliche but maybe there was an experiment or something some scientists were developing and it went out of control maybe you will say an airborne experiment and then it just the laboratory got destroyed or something and the toxic air went around the world and slowly you know how it is over generations nobody knew about it and it was probably not visible and in the end many people that came into contact with air or something whatever it was they just burst into flames like only a select few of people some could control the flames some could not and some could really control the flames like the third generations overall i like this chapter i like the smile that shinra did at the end he's on his way of becoming a hero and even though his whole life he was shunned and seen as a demon because everybody thinks that he killed his family which he didn't and he it's because he gave that that smile he always gives which is really creepy and weird um I, i'm i'm really liking the main character i'm really liking the main character of the series so far the side characters the other characters i'm not really interested in them that much maybe in the future they'll do something that's really epic and one scene i like in the manga was we don't leave nobody behind so they were saying they don't leave nobody behind which was really great overall first chapter was good um, the defeat of that, of the woman by the feet through the heart, <laughs> she, got, she got a fire blast foot through, through the heart. I wish he would name his attacks. Hopefully in the future, that would be really cool. Like fire feet attack or something epic, fire omega. That, that'd be really nice. Overall, the chapter was good. Um, it was not like crazy, but I like more of his backstory and I'm starting to like the character of Shinran even more. Overall, I give this chapter a 7.5 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.